What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Chaz's Rock Record Review. Uh, second album since the relaunch we're going over, and the third album, the first three-timer we have in the series, and it might be the f- only two-timer, but no, it's a three-timer. We started off uh, breaking down uh, episode two or three or four with um, uh, the Black Album by Metallica. About 10 records later, we broke down uh, Garage Inc. by Metallica, all random draws, and this episode is breaking down Hardwired to Self-Destruct uh, by Metallica. A Latter Days album for Metallica, released in 2016. Really cool cover with all the dudes' faces there. I still have it in the sleeve. It's open. But I know it's a gatefold, but it had the back is pretty much the same. But it has that sticker right there on the uh, the sleeve here, so I didn't want to lose said sticker um, because I'm a weird collector like that. But there is a gatefold, there is pictures in the middle, but you're just not going to get to see them all. Insert it. We got each. We got that guy again with some lyrics. We got that guy with some lyrics. That's totally Lars, by the way. It's for show, Lars's face. Who's Lars Ulrich from Metallica? I I could do better. And then is there another insert like that? There is a download card for sure. No, I guess that's the only insert. The vinyl isn't really much to show. Just your classic black with that kind of, you know, the vinyl actually kind of, the aesthetic on the record kind of reminded, kind of reminds me of uh, the Death Magnetic, which was the album before this. So this is your 2016 release from Metallica. And honestly, this album was everywhere. Um, I heard it all the time on Sirius Radio. That's what I listened to a lot. And it was all over YouTube. Immediately, there was already people making like guitar videos everywhere. So it was a pretty cool album uh, to, 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 to get off the rip. And uh, it's really heavy. And I like this Latter-day Metallica. Like, what do you want to call Latter-day Metallica? For me, Latter-day Metallica is like Death Magnetic, this and the new album, 27 Seasons. I feel there's like three generations of Metallica. There's the early stuff from uh, from Kill 'Em All to um, the Black Album, which is thrashier towards the end, hitting radio. And then you got your radio time uh, from um, the, the Black Album, sure. That, that, that goes both ways to, you know what, St. Anger. I know a lot of people hate, hate, hate St. Anger. I don't necessarily love it. I have an idea to break down some cool St. Anger stuff at some point, but I'll show you. Um, but I don't necessarily love it, but that was the end of that generation. And then their next album was Death Magnetic, and now you're in your third uh, your third uh, level of Metallica. So, uh, yeah, let's just get going and talk about the release. Um, and we'll see everything that it went through, how to get going. So Hardwired to Self-Destruct is the 10th studio album by American heavy metal band Metallica, released as a double album on November 18th, 2016, by their own label, Blackened Recordings. It was their, it was their first studio album in eight years following Death Magnetic, marking the longest gap between two studio albums in the band's career. It is also their first studio album released through their own label, Blackened Recordings. Hardwired dot, 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 to Self-Destruct was produced by Greg Fiddleman, who engineered and mixed Death Magnetic. This was Metallica's sixth consecutive studio album to debut at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200, selling 291 album equivalent units in its first week, topping and topping the charts in 57 countries. The number one ranking mark, the number one ranking marked the second time in history that any band of any genre would have six consecutive albums debut at number one, following only. Dave Matthews Band, which is quite a departure from Metallica, hardwired to self-destruct, received generally positive reviews from critics. And in 2020, Lars Ulrich ranked it 
at his as his favorite Metallica album. Um, I'm not going to get into all of this. There's a lot here to go over. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say about their music. The lyrics follow a general theme of nihilism and pessimism. The title, Hardwired, Too Self-Destruct, came from an utterance Hatfield heard somebody said to me the other day, and it stuck with me. Hardwired. Hardwired to self-destruct. And it's like no matter what you do in your life, you're only trying to not go down the path that you're maybe hardwired to. The theme unites desperate topics such as dangers of fame on moth to into flame and cosmicism in Dream No More. Hardwired to self-destruct marks the first studio album by the band not to feature songwriting contributions from Hammett since he joined the band in 1983 prior to recording Kill 'Em All. In 2014, Hammett had lost his phone at Copenhagen Airport, which contained almost 250 riff ideas. I did not know that. Since material for the songs, uh, since since Hammett did not back up the data, it affected his creative input for the new album, and he had to start at zero again while Hadfield Alric had material for songs. Trujillo wrote sole writing credit on the album was in the introduction to Man Unkind, which he later said was written as a tribute to former bassist Cliff Burton. Regarding lyrical themes, Hardwired to Self-Destruct, bemoans the music industry on moth into flame and subjects such as drug addiction and overdose on hardwired familiar lyrics dealing familiar lyrics dealing with the hp lovecraft cthulhu mythos are explored in dream no more and murder one serves as a tribute to the late motorhead frontman lemmy who died in december of 2015 the song was named after the bassist's favorite amplifier so a few things in there. I never knew about that uh, that uh, that uh, Kirk Hammett thing. Interest, interesting. Uh, look at some of the ratings here before we get into it. Um, Metacritic's got a 73 out of 100. Uh, you can see all these here to the right. Everything's about three to four stars. So good for them. It was really it was rated Kerrang as the second best album of 2016. Loudwire as the fifth best album of 2015. Uh, Revolver number one album. Rolling Stone named it the best metal album of 2016. Rolling Stone named it the 36th best album of 2016. Uh, and I don't like Rolling Stone, so that doesn't mean much to me, to be honest. <laughs> um, it won awards, folks. It won awards and Billboard Music Award top record of the year. Top rock album of the year, but not metal. Not metal album. It did not win best metal album on, on Loudwire, but Billboard it won. I Heart Music won the, the rock album of the year. So, well, you know, well-received album. Looking at, um, oh, that's the deluxe edition. So, so just looking at it, it's a long album, 77 minutes. We've got a long, long way to go, folks. Um, so we are going to, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to jump right into it and start to rock out uh, with some Metallica hardwired to self-destruct. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Okay. So here we go, guys. Hardwired to self-destruct by Metallica. Let's go. Right off the rip. This is so good. Bring a smile to my face. Very thrashy. Down inside, we're so fucked. Shit out of luck. I want to self destruct. Go! It's so good. It's so driving. It's so driving. It's right to the point. It, this harkens back to old thrash metallic, guys. 
just with much better recording sound. I love it. I love it. Let's move on. We're so fucked. Atlas Rise. I love the riffs on this. And Lars is fantastic on this album. That's such a Metallica riff. Such a Metallica riff. little groove and I love this next part I love how Lars does it with the drums So good. This album was a return to form for Metallica. Another good fucking song. This has got so many good jams, guys. Another just like James and Lars killed this album. It's good stuff. 
stuff. It's so catchy. Just, you know, I'm not really saying a lot, guys, because everything is so riffy and so great, and, and Lars's drums are killing it. Delivery of this reminds me a lot of um, like load and reload stuff. Sounds 
great. James sounds really good. time you guys are listening to this. It's so good. Calling back to like disposable heroes from March. This song is called Confusion. great vocals in this, but it is kind of a boring song, so let's move on. To Man Unkind. This bass intro is in memory of Cliff Burton.
groove to it. Here comes Revenge. This reminds me of like a rainbow song. Double time.
outro. Let me zamp. I always like when Metallica has a little quiet parts in the beginning. to the, one of the best heavy songs on this album. Just enjoy this one, guys. There you go with the Metallica hardwired to self-destruct uh, 2016 release. Uh, I know it's been a long episode kind of already, but it's a, it's a big album, and it takes them forever to get to where they need to be. And uh, But I do like long intros, but it, it's just like there's a lot. I mean, there's 10 tracks on this that, that are like takes two minutes to get to anything, and it, it's just a bit much, but like... I like this album a lot. I wouldn't say it's my favorite Metallica album, but it's a very good Metallica album. It is. It's got great riffs. Uh, the way Lars does a lot of his fills and like uh, 
rhythms to to certain riffs is just really well done. And and, and Lars gets a lot of shit for not being the uh, the greatest drummer in the world, and he's not by any means. But like he he shines in this album. And James sounds great. You know, we didn't get over to any of the solos. Uh, I don't necessarily have a favorite solo that I wanted to cover on this album because it's just nothing really ever stood out to me so much. And it's not shade. It's just nothing really stood out to me solo wise. Um, but it's just such a good album. And uh, it's definitely worth a listen, guys. Like, if you haven't checked it out, what? Stop! Stop being that old guy that's like, my own like a telecar right before the Black Album. Come on, that's thirty years ago. Get over it. They've written a lot of good music in that time. Like, I get it. Saint Anger kind of blows, and and, and ro- load and reload ain't for everybody. But come on, this this stuff rocked. You heard it here, guys. Like, it was it was great. It was real heavy. It was real riffy, and it was groovy. Like it, it's a fantastic Metallica album. It really is. Uh, I give it a I give it an eight out of ten. It's a really good album. Um, I really like. It. I did it did get a little lost at me towards the end. Uh, just a lot of kind of like long, almost filler tracks. I feel, and it, and if you didn't put on an album for eight years, you know, you could have did a little better Metallica. But it, but whatever. I mean, whatever. Too bad. Too boring ish songs. Fine, you know. And then to end it. And Spit Out the Bone, that's cool, man. That That's a ripper. Spit Out the Bone is an absolute ripper, and there's a lot of great freaking al- songs on this album. Like, I forgot. I totally forgot um, some of them there. Like, it's, when we were going through them, even though, I mean, I've listened to it a bunch, but even when we were going through it there, I was like, oh, yeah, there, there's this song, too. Oh, I forgot this was on that album, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we're getting into our next review for next week. And as always, we are in our Discogs app. We're starting in the zeros. 30 seconds to Mars. We're in the top there. 36 crazy fits. Let's see what the rando review is. Nope, we're doing another one. That was a comedy album. Okay. All right. Different, guys. We are going into, as this says on here, jazz and funk and we got Stanley Clark, School Days. Stanley Clark, I believe, is a bass player. I could be wrong. Um, it is a, a six-track album, but it's 36 minutes in length. Um, so we have a lot to listen to. There's a eight, six, there's a nine-minute song, a seven-minute song, a 740 song, and uh, we have a lot to go over here uh, for... School Days by Stanley Clark. Okay, there's your homework next week. This isn't. I know it says Chaz has rock record review, but you know it's okay to, to branch out once in a while. And uh, Stanley Clark School Days is your homework, guys. Thank you for checking out the video. I'm sure you've noticed I, I've uh, posted a few Christmas videos, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying those as well because, you know, Christmas, you only get, you know, one time a year. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. But thank you for checking out the video. Make sure you do your homework, guys. And until then, we will see you next time. Peace. Peace.